to high days. So, you know, I'm feeling like a lean bean, like a skinny, a skinny bean right now. So, uh, I'm gonna send my check-ins to Paul and see if this week we get a diet break. I am driving my husband's car because my bumper is needing to be replaced in my windshield because I drive on a highway that has really lots of traffic and trucks and stuff. So they always get um, rocks shooting up at you. And I am 130 pounds. I did have a low of 129 this week, but I was 130 today. Fridays, my new routine is going to be sleeping in because I can work out after work because I don't have a grad class on Friday nights. I have grad class Monday through Thursday, so there's no option to work out after I have to work out in the morning. It's non-negotiable. But on Fridays, I can work out after work. So I'm going to be sleeping in, getting a little extra rest on Fridays, um, starting my day later. But I think that's going to be really great for me for my rest and recovery. Something else I've been doing for my rest and recovery that is just helping me to be knocked out and not wake up in the middle of the night or be tossing and turning is I have been taking my cured CBD nightcaps and then also my cured CBD and CBN, um, the tincture or the oil, and placing that under my tongue, holding it for 30 seconds. And I, you know, I used to think I got like great sleep, but after doing this, I'm like, no, this is what great sleep is. So I'm kind of obsessed with that right now. Um, if you're even, if you even get up like to go pee a million times, or you toss and you turn in the middle of the night, or you just can't get comfortable, um, I would recommend giving this a try. It's just like a sense of calm, and you're just ready to close your eyes and pass out, so I've been obsessed with that. But anywho's, I am going to start my long commute to work, and I'll check back in with you when I head to the gym. Later. Paul did get back to me and he gave me a phone call and he's like hey i just can't really tell how we're doing on your hamstrings and your glutes based off of the photos um i tried doing a different lighting because the kitchen ones weren't doing them justice either so i did the garage lighting and it just had like downlit light so it was like all shadow underneath so that didn't really work in my favor either um that being said i am going to send him photos again tomorrow saturday at the gym i will have to walk in the middle of the gym with my bikini on which is fine but that's where the best lighting is and i'll do it there or i might try at home with my ring light i've just never thought to use my ring light at home before um i feel like natural lighting kind of is the best but um i'm not opposed to the ring light so i might do that but anyways i have to go uh, work out now grocery shop and then drive all the way home. I don't have the most motivation right this second But motivation is not what makes the bodybuilder Discipline is so we are disciplined We do the things we need to do to get to where we want to be. I always felt like exercise and physical activity is not a choice it's something that you do for your health, just like um, brushing your teeth and hygiene and washing your body and going to the doctor when you're sick. Moving your body is not a choice. It's not optional. It's not, oh, I graduated from high school. I don't have PE anymore, so I'm not gonna work out. Or I'm not a college athlete anymore, so I'm done. I'm done working out. I don't have to train anymore no you're a human for life and humans need movement if you think back to like um hunters and gatherers that's all we did is move our bodies so you don't get to just stay home and sit on the computer and if that's your job that's great but after that you have to be disciplined and show up and show up for yourself and your body and your health and move it and move it in gratitude and not out of punishment i'm not trying to punish myself i'm trying to use it and i'm just happy that i'm able to and 
that's why I push myself the way I do because I'm grateful that I'm able, um, able-bodied and um, disciplined. And that's like the number one thing. So just have a different mindset about physical activity and movement. You don't have to be running marathons. You don't have to do the hardest CrossFit workout. You just have to go for a walk every morning, every night, go for a hike, do body weight exercises, try yoga, try CrossFit, try weightlifting, try cycling, try swimming, try um, Tai Chi, whatever. Try it all and see what you like and just find what you like and go with it. And if anything, get a dog because having a dog will make you move your body. Um, yeah, so that's just my thoughts of the day. We'll see you at the gym, y'all. Alrighty, we are at the gym. Just finished a quick little back sesh. Back is my fastest workout. Um, little back and little triceps and just sent Coach Paul some photos with better gym lighting so he can get an idea for my conditioning. Um, like I said before, the morning check-ins I sent him didn't really do justice for the hamstrings. Um, so we took some better ones, sliding slightly washed out, but you can tell I'm a lean bean. And this is the yoga room. Wearing my new rider wear outfit. Super cute, little scrunch bum. And little booty cheeks hanging out the back there. A little emphasis on little. Because we got no fat on our cheeks. Got some veins. And tight tummy. And I love this sports bra, it's so cute and like super supportive. I did the cross in the back, I actually had Eric had to do it for me. And I was like, you need to figure out how to do these straps, these girl things. Has a cute little peekaboo hole right there. And I left the boob cups in, which I never do. Because I actually like them, they fill out the whole thing and they don't just look like a circle, like a sausage, like a pepperoni nipple, so that's cute. And yeah, we are looking conditioned. And four weeks out. So tomorrow, Eric and I are gonna have breakfast with my mom and dad. And we are gonna do like a quick little photo shoot for Gavello. And we are going to get massages tomorrow. Tonight we're gonna go see Batman. So that'll be fun. And now I'm gonna go grocery shop. So. Um, still don't know the protocol, whether or not I get a refeed or not. I haven't got clarification on that, but I did get a new um, training program to finish my four weeks, four weeks before the sack show, adding some hack squats so my legs don't get too chickeny. My left leg is a little more chickeny than my right leg. No, opposite, <laughs> left leg, no. Yeah, right leg chickeny. I'm left leg dominant, which is super weird because I'm right handed. So sometimes it likes to take over the other one, but we'll get it. Let's see if we can see the hammies. Oh yeah, never done this before, but I see Laura Lee do it all the time. Not trying to show you my butthole, just the hamstrings. How about this side? There you go. Now we know how Laura Lee does it. How about between the legs? <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> okay, I'll stop now, bye. Back from grocery shopping, we got the essentials, the Denny sticks and the protein powder. It was only 36 cents a serving. And look how beautiful our neighborhood is. We moved here a year ago. Best decision we ever made. All right, now I gotta go get Eric to help me do this one trip. Uh. 
I'm Batman. No, I'm Batman. Let's go to the Batmobile. <laughs> hey, so I know I'm late to the party, but I finally ordered something from Bombshell. So I thought I'd open it with you. And I actually ordered a couple of different things from Bombshell. And Laura Lee was just really selling me on those blue shorts and that blue crop um, t-shirt zip. So I was like, okay, I need to. And then of course, everybody and their mom already has the sock leggings. So I ordered some of those too and a cute bra to go with it. Without further ado, let's check it out. Okay, so came in this non-branded box so at first i was like wait what is this but upon opening said box look how adorable it says be your own motivation bombshell and it has like this shiny holographic piece of paper on top with like a really cute note i'll just read it it says bombshell sportswear oh hey bombshell babe we're all about your about you doing you and feeling comfortable in your own skin. We hope our collections continue to make you feel unstoppable for your workouts and everyday life. We'd love to see you in your bombshell. Tag us, bombshell sportswear. So I thought that was super cute. Also, something I didn't know about bombshell is that they're made in the USA, which I think is amazing. Um, and then once we get past the note, looking inside, they have these super gorgeous um, little button bags with the shiny little bombshell emblem on them. So they're super nice. Um, like that's the nicest packaging I've ever seen. So right off the bat, I get like a really luxe feel from their packaging, which is amazing. And then here they are. I'm so excited for this blue color. I thought it would look really pretty with like my new blonde hair. So little bombshell, little scrunch bum, little uh, scrunch side action with the little toggle that you can pull tighter. And then the V front cross waist. I ordered them in a size small. So those will be super cute. And then we got the top to go with it naturally and i could have got the sports bra but i honestly have so many sports bras i wanted to switch it up and try something different so i went with the crop top because i love how her shoulders look and her delts look in the crop top and i love that you can zip it all the way up or you can leave it a little open if you want to do a little cleavage action but i figured i could just wear like a plain black or white sports bra underneath no big deal i can tell that it's a little bit tighter under the cup, which feels nice. Um, I think if you have tiny boobies, you could probably get away with no bra, right? Or even size down, maybe. It's super stretchy material, really stretchy. I got this in a size small as well. I usually order everything in a size small. When I get close to competition though, I can actually go down to an extra small in the leggings because um, my waist gets smaller and you know there's a little extra room there okay next up we ordered the i want to see what if it says what color these are it might not it just has the card on it but i ordered the green kind of like a huntery green looking sock legging so these ones are the no seam so no camel toe they do have the pockets and then the no like no stitching or band at the top, which I prefer when it has the band, sometimes it cuts in. And then the soft legging style. So it's kind of like a dark, dark green color. I ordered green because I don't have any leggings that are this color. So I was like, if I'm gonna ball out on some bombshell, I might as well get a color I don't already have. You know, everyone has black, um, already had blue. I have a lot of colors of leggings to be honest. Um, but I did not have green, shockingly. Sorry, I'm organizing things down here, my OCD. Okay, and then this bra was super cute. I love the shape of it. Something I love about Bombshell is their unique styles. They're very girly, they're very sexy, and they make styles that nobody else does, which I appreciate. 
So this one I thought was so cute because it kind of almost look, has like an underwire look to it, but it's actually in fact really soft, no underwire. And then it has this cute little cutout, this cute little scrunch, and then it's long line. I love a good long line. For some reason it makes me feel a little more appropriate in the gym. And then a good little razor back and makes me feel supported too. Um, yeah, so I am going to do a quick little try on. Hopefully everything fits. And also shout out to Gavello. That is what I'm wearing right now. This cute little pink number. It does have like a little bit of the, like the little scrunch seam right there. It's not as major as um, the amplify, but it has these cool like contour on the legs where it has like these stripes and then they go up the stripes go up into the bum and the branding is like stitched into just a little v right there and the stripes and then this is a long leg bra too super comfy so it's like the seamless seamless style and the pink is like it's a vibe it's like brings you energy you know so you can't go wrong with a little pink look but um yeah i'll do a little try and haul also i did my makeup shout out to me and i got my eyebrows laminated and tinted a while ago and i'm kind of obsessed with fluffing them up and making them look super full because normally they look really thin also definitely overlined my lips they're not this big but they look pretty good i'll take it and these are my favorite false lashes i get them from tj maxx i'll have to look up what they're called but i like how they get like thicker on the sides all right i'll try these clothes on now see you in a minute okay we're back and just like i thought I love this blue and green number. It's so cute. It's like a royal blue. And the where it cuts off on your arms just does something for the delts. Cute. This is why Laura Lee always looks so good in the gym. Obviously her muscles. But her outfits, oh, it just hits. So based off the size small, I feel like this is the perfect true to size. It does feel tight on my delts, but like I said, it's super stretchy. So it's not like gonna like cut in or anything like that. And then here's the little cross waist. It's so soft and comfortable. And then here's my zip. I just have my pink bra underneath, but this is as low as it goes. So I could wear it honestly fully open not being a big deal. Or let's go all the way up. I can wear it like this. This is kind of cool too. Super sporty vibes. And then we'll move back so we can check out, I'll move my camera down so we can check out the bottoms. Okay. So here's the bottoms. They have these cute little toggles that you can like crunch and make tighter. I left the tags on in case anything wasn't the right size. And then here's the little um, scrunchy part in the bum cheeks. I love how soft this material is. And my booty cheeks aren't falling out the bottom, which is good. Because some, some companies, your cheeks be falling out the bottom. That's okay if that's what you're going for. But I don't want my cheeks falling out all the time, so. All right, this is outfit numero one. On to the next one. Okay, here's the next outfit. It is the green, kind of huntry green um, sock leggings. And the cute bra. So what also sold me on this one is for Laura Lee's Arnold prep. I saw her wearing the all gray one in the gym in Ohio. 
And of course, gray is my favorite color. And I looked it up and it was like this beautiful charcoal gray color. But they were sold out of at the bottoms, I believe. Or the top, I don't know. Also, my camera's dropping. <laughs> so, um, wasn't able to snag that. But I was able to get this green set. And I convinced myself that green was good too because I don't have any green leggings. Also, I have hazel eyes. So, it kind of goes with them. So, impressions here. This is a small top. I think this is the perfect, like, cup fitting. This is such a stretchy, stretchy material. I almost wish that I could make this part tighter. So I bet you I could size down to an extra small. It's not too tight in the band and normally I'm a 32. So I was worried that the cup wouldn't be big enough, but small is definitely, it is my true, true to size, but I, I like things really tight. Um, so I think I would even size down to extra small. That being said, I'm gonna keep the small because I am stage lean right now. So maybe when I am like 10 pounds up, it will feel more secure, more tight. I'll have more to fill it out. Right now there's, there's no fat on these boobs, okay? It's all what I purchased right there. And then these pocket leggings are super cute, really comfortable in the tummy. They have a cute little V. Sorry, I have the tags on still. Cute little like V seam right here, which I really like. And I actually appreciate how long they are. I'm five foot five and a half, and they go all the way to right above my ankle. So a lot of times those seventh, eighth like seventh, eighth length leggings like almost feel like capris and I don't like capris so I like how long these ones are and they're super breathable and comfy and the material is so soft like butter so these are also approved and now I'm gonna have to tell my husband that I have an addiction and he's not gonna be very happy with me so wish me luck y'all Eric and I just did a photo shoot with Baron. Rather, Eric was holding the light for Baron while he shot some photos for me. And now we're going to get our massage. Say hello. Eric said that I am rich mom. Goes to the spa vibes. Hold the camera so they can see my outfit. Is this the rich mom goes to the spa vibes? <laughs> Okay, so Eric and I just got done at the massage place and when I say not one second of that was enjoyable, I truly mean this. It was intense. What were your thoughts? Uh, I, I mean, I had a good amount of it that was enjoyable, but a lot of it was painful. A lot of it was what? Uh, a lot of it was pretty painful and like intense and I don't know. Like I, I knew it was gonna be good for me so I was like just let him keep going. I like, heard Eric's girl over there panting. Like, yeah she was <gasps> a little <laughs> <laughs> like obviously he's way too big and it was this little tiny woman and I was either in pain or I was either being tickled the entire hour. Yeah my hamstrings and, and feet. Even my girl was panting but like she was like rubbing my Achilles and that hurt and then she was taking her knuckles and grinding it on my feet and that hurt and I just I think I'm too lean to enjoy any form of massage right now so I'm not blaming her it's still gonna be good for recovery. yeah and I know I know it'll probably feel better in a couple of days but literally my whole what's this part uh, trap no rhomboids. the trap trap trapezoid rhomboid yeah, yeah, no, no, rhomboids no, 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 no. Whatever, I don't know, they hurt. And I could just hear her elbows grinding over them, grinding over them, yeah. grinding over them. It yeah. was like bone on bone because I'm so freaking 
lean right now. And at one point, she was on all fours on top of me. Yeah, she was like <laughs> straddling me. <laughs> we got our massages side by side. And she like rips down my underwear and just like starts massaging my butt. Yeah, she was massaging my glutes and was like, relax. And I was like, it's hard. <laughs> she like, told them. tickling my glutes so I can't not flex them. He like, was flexing <laughs> his glutes on her. Yeah. She's like, relax. <laughs> Oh no! I'm. I was in so much pain. I was telling myself, "Don't throw up. Don't throw up." And like, don't cringe. Don't cringe. Yeah, I was trying not to like flex and <laughs> tense up. But. but no hate. All love. No, I mean, I'm sure in another like tomorrow we're gonna feel good. Yeah, but, we asked for the deep tissue and we asked for it hard. So it's. They gave it to us. <laughs> they gave us what we wanted. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. See you later. <laughs> Okay, we had more of like a revelation or just like a, you know, we're talking more about what they were doing to us, that how everything was so aggressive and it's not like when you go to the regular spa and they like take the time to like tuck the sheet around your butt. It was like rip the sheet back, rip the panties back. And then when they were like wiping the oil off our back with the hot towel, it felt like they were scrubbing me with like bushes or something. <laughs> branches scraping your skin. <laughs> it was like branches scratching my skin. It was like not a nice plushy towel. <laughs> and I kind of felt like she wanted to hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> they were mad at us. <laughs> they were mad. They were panting and grunting themselves. I think they were irritated about how much muscle they had to work through. I'm pretty sure that like most people don't go in with this amount of muscle tissue. I, I feel like this was more of like a performance like massage yeah. to, to re help you recover. It wasn't like a yeah. re relaxation at the spa massage. It wasn't relaxing so. at all. I think we would need needed like a light massage. We it, did ask them for the Yeah, hard. we asked <laughs> for deep tissue, medium to hard. And Eric might do the one where they stand on you next time. Cause I think that'll be easier for his person because he's just so big. And this was like an 80 pound woman that was doing both. Like <laughs> one was doing him and one was doing me. <laughs> doing, <laughs> massaging. Um, but it was just a very interesting experience. Um, would you go back? 